Okay, so everything has uh, not worked out for me lately. So hopefully, walking around will do the job, and I will not get cold today. We're starting off at the fifth track. If you play Golden Dash Cup to Lucky Cat Cup, this is the Lucky Cat Cat of the Lucky Cat Cup, and we start off with Tokyo Blur. This is a micro tour track that uh, this this is the actually the only micro tour track that I played that was in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe so far, and I hope that the other tracks I did play. New York Minute and Mary Mountain would uh, be included. I fell off playing tour like, like 2020. I swear, I have not played Vancouver Velocity. Uh, I have not played these tracks. I might, maybe I might have played Ninja Hideaway. I might have been, I might have played Ninja Hideaway, but I don't remember. But as ever I can remember, I can only remember three. Tokyo Blur definitely was one of those. And I actually kind of like Tokyo Blur. Tokyo Blur was not that bad and uh, it's still not that bad so you actually it's a pretty short course and it changes every lap the way you go so when you go left you see some flags I think it's the Yoshi the Mario and the Peach flag interesting choices where's my buddy Luigi okay, so you go under a tunnel and then there's a shortcut I'm pretty sure or maybe not maybe not the shortcut but who cares I think there's a shortcut but Anyways, so you keep going along, and uh, basically lap two, and lap two is changing, because now you go where some swamps are crushing the ground, there's some coins uh, in front and behind of the swamps, and yeah, so... I don't really know what to say. Uh, then basically lap three. Lap three, you go the same way with the thwomps, but now you go on a highway. I'm not too fond of highway tracks, but I kind of like them. But I mean, they're not. They're, you're not going to see any highway tracks. Maybe even in the top 20 uh, of Mario Kart tracks. Or even Shroom Ridge, it's a, it's a cool track, but it might not even crack my top uh, 20. A Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass tracks when, obviously, they're all released. But that does depend on the tracks that are released, because they could choose, you know, Vancouver Velocity, which I probably will, and I've never played that track. Or Berlin Byways, never played that track. Anyways... What if they made a highway track without cars? Because exactly, that's exactly what they did. So, you basically just go around in a circle to a glider ramp that leads you to the end of the track. It's a pretty nice track, and it's, it's the only Marker Tour track that I've played so far that's in the game. And, uh, I have way more added. Oh my god, my hands are cold. I forgot to bring on gloves. Uh, 